Apartment maintenance includes repairing damages that occur in multifamily residences. The ultimate goal is to make sure the buildings remain livable, safe, and comfortable for tenants and others on the premises. Unlike single-family homes, multifamily properties have more than one housing unit. Multifamily homes are called duplexes, triplexes, or quadplexes, which refers to the number of units they contain. Apartment maintenance covers a wide range of repair work. This includes electrical systems, plumbing systems, HVAC systems, and construction work. Let's learn about the evolution of these systems over the years. Plumbing has played a significant part in how civilizations have evolved. The earliest plumbing pipes were made of baked clay and straw. The Egyptians made the first copper pipes. For potable water use, Galvanized iron piping was commonly used in the United States from the late 1800s until around 1960. After that period, copper piping took over. World War II restricted iron, steel, and copper due to a material shortage. This forced the plumbing industry to start using new materials like plastics. As time progressed, efforts were made to standardize regulations of plumbing systems in the United States. The first plumbing code was published in 1928. Today, we need to follow plumbing codes for plumbing installation and repair work on multifamily residences. Depending on an apartment's construction year, the plumbing system could be different. Proper maintenance work needs to be followed as per the plumbing technology used in an apartment. Much like plumbing, many developments have been made with electrical systems. The evolution of electricity began in the 17th century. Back in 1752, Benjamin Franklin demonstrated that lightning was a form of electricity with a kite experiment. In September 1882, a house in America was powered by hydroelectricity. The station that powered the home used the direct current, DC, system developed by Thomas Edison. In the late 1800s, DC could not be easily converted to high voltages. As a result, Edison proposed a small, local power plant that would power the homes. With this system, power plants needed to be located within one mile of the end user. The limitation of the DC system made it challenging to distribute power in rural areas. Nikola Tesla, a student of Edison, believed that AC was a better option to use in the home. This is because, with transformers, power could be converted to higher or lower voltages much easier and more efficiently. In the earliest days of home electrification, electricity was often carried place to place by bare copper wires with minimal cotton insulation. Sockets, switch handles, and fuse blocks were made of wood. From about 1890 to 1910, knob and tube wiring was used for electric installation. Knob and tube wiring is an open electric wiring work. The wires are supported on knobs and encased in tubes where they pass through beams or partitions. In this early setup, hot wires and neutral wires were run separately. They were insulated using rubberized cloth, which degraded over time. From the 1920s to the 1940s, insulated wires were enclosed in rigid metal tubes. Electrical cable encased in metal sheathing was introduced in the early 1900s. These flexible armored cables were enclosed in rigid metal tubes. This offered some protection from wire damage. During this time, the potential for danger was much higher than today because the equipment wasn't grounded. If one of the hot wires became damaged, the electrical current would escape the wiring pathways. After 1965, Equipment was grounded to direct electrical currents back into the ground to create a safer environment. Apartment maintenance of electrical systems varies based on the technology present. We need to examine the technology used in equipment for carrying out any electrical maintenance work. In the past, people built houses with high ceilings and multiple windows to circulate air. This led to the invention of ductwork, which was used to distribute air throughout homes. This has been a lasting feature, as we still use ductwork in our current systems. An example of an early AC system comes from the Chinese. 
the Chinese discovered that moving air on the skin creates a temporary cooling effect. So, they invented hand-operated fans. To keep food cool, early Greeks and Romans covered storage pits with snow and tree branches. The storage pits acted like a natural cooler in the ground, and preserved food for a few days without spoiling. Apartment maintenance for HVAC systems varies based on the type of HVAC system used in an apartment. We need to examine the technology used in an apartment before carrying out any maintenance work. The construction industry began when humans started to build their own shelters. They used natural resources available around them. The first buildings were constructed by hand using stone tools. The earliest building materials included bones, like mammoth ribs, bamboo, clay, and lime plaster. For example, the first bridges made by humans were just wooden logs placed across a stream, and later timber trackways. Over time, humans refined their construction practices and started building more permanent structures. As humans abandoned nomadic life, these societies built permanent shelters. The Egyptian pyramids are some of the first examples of large-scale, permanent structures. Population growth and urbanization led to an increasing need for shelter developments. The construction industry in many parts of the world started to grow with increasing demand. With time, more advanced technology was being used in the building industry. Focused attention was given to local building materials. Steel was mass-produced in the mid-19th century, and used in the form of I-beams and reinforced concrete. Glass paints also went into mass production and changed from luxury to every man's property. With the evolution of systems used in apartments, maintenance becomes complicated and mandatory. We will look into the importance of apartment maintenance in the next lesson. A poorly maintained building can create dangers and uncomfortable living conditions for those working or living there. This makes maintenance mandatory for an apartment. The common problems in an apartment include, peeling paint, uneven walkways, and faulty plumbing, HVAC, or electrical systems. Regular maintenance helps to prevent these unsafe environments. There are various types of maintenance we can perform to prevent deterioration in a building. These include, preventive maintenance, condition-based maintenance, predetermined maintenance, and emergency maintenance. Preventive maintenance is aimed at catching and fixing problems before they happen. It is most commonly carried out in regular inspections, usually occurring multiple times per year. Condition-based maintenance is an advanced alternative to preventive maintenance. The systems are carefully observed for changes that could indicate coming failure. During this maintenance, we need to monitor specific parameters like the temperature and speed of a system. Unlike other types, predetermined maintenance is carried out using suggestions by a manufacturer. But relying solely on a predetermined schedule may risk system failures, as technicians may not be able to predict problems. It can also cause multifamily maintenance teams to replace parts too early, resulting in additional costs. A maintenance emergency is something that requires immediate attention. Emergency maintenance is performed for problems that could harm one's health or cause severe property damage if unresolved. We often carry out preventive, condition-based, predetermined, and emergency maintenance for apartments. Different types of maintenance technicians perform this maintenance. Maintenance technicians are categorized based on building type. This includes plant maintenance technicians, apartment maintenance technicians, facilities maintenance technicians, and public works maintenance technicians. Recall that the ultimate goal of apartment maintenance is to make sure the buildings remain livable, safe, and comfortable for tenants. An apartment maintenance technician performs this maintenance on assets, and is responsible for the upkeep of a facility. The major systems that an apartment maintenance technician deal with are, electrical systems, plumbing systems, construction or carpentry work, HVAC systems, and managing property exterior appearance. Let's go over each of them.
Plumbing system issues repaired by apartment maintenance technicians include replacing or installing faucets, toilets, and hot water tanks. Apartment technicians can fix minor problems with drainage systems, dishwashers, water dispensing refrigerators, and washing machines, which are all affected by plumbing issues. Electrical repair is another crucial responsibility for apartment maintenance technicians. They repair and replace power switches, fuses, and wall sockets. Technicians also troubleshoot electrical appliances such as ceiling lights, ceiling fans, climate control systems, and garage doors. Applying new coats of paint for minor touch-ups and damage repair on walls is common for apartment maintenance technicians. They keep apartments visually appealing by using drywall to fill in small holes and cover up normal wear and tear. When renters change apartment units, the walls might get dirty and damaged. Maintenance technicians add a fresh coat of paint to get an apartment ready for a new tenant. Maintenance technicians are also responsible for fixing heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, HVAC, systems. When these systems fail due to minor issues at apartment complexes, they are immediately called upon to help make residents comfortable again. Apartment maintenance technicians are responsible for helping an apartment complex maintain an attractive appearance at all times. They address many aspects of community presentation, including picking up trash and fixing any needed outdoor repairs. Each of the maintenance tasks performed by an apartment maintenance technician are quick fixes and require an hour or less. For problems beyond a technician's capabilities, like significant appliance malfunctions, they are forced to call outside contractors. Recall that some of the specialized trades present in the maintenance industry are electrician, plumber, HVAC technician, carpenter, and appliance repair technician. A contractor calls a suitable tradesperson depending on the problem. The main difference between specialized tradespeople and maintenance technicians is that they can handle complex problems within a system. On the other hand, a maintenance technician can only solve quick fixes outside a system. For example, in an apartment, the routine maintenance of air filters, thermostat setting, and replacement is done by a maintenance technician. But for more complex problems like refrigerant leaks or a broken compressor, the technician calls a contractor. The contractor then calls an HVAC technician to solve the problem. Similarly, for plumbing problems, depending on the complexity of the problem, a technician calls a contractor. For example, the technician will call a contractor if their plunger will not remove a clog or clear a drain. The contractor then calls a plumber to solve the problem. Maintenance technicians install and maintain low-voltage electrical systems. Low voltage is generally less than 50 volts, with little or no risk of fire or shock. Electricians work with high voltages of about 50 to 4,160 volts. If a home appliance, like a dryer, is not working in an apartment, the technician needs to test the dryer using a multimeter. If there is no power, we need to call a contractor instead of opening the electrical panel. This is because electricians can deal with higher voltages. The duties of a maintenance technician are Inspecting buildings, equipment, and systems to identify any issues. Developing and implementing preventative maintenance procedures. Helping to develop and implement a budget for the maintenance department. The duties of a maintenance technician are Maintaining inventory records for equipment and supplies. Ordering parts and supplies to maintain inventory. Taking bids from and negotiating prices with vendors, contractors, and suppliers. The duties of a maintenance technician are Recognizing when a job is above their skill level and requires more expertise. Being available for periodic 24-hour on-call rotations to provide service in case of emergencies. The following skills are essential for technicians to get the job done. Troubleshooting skills, physical endurance, communication skills, organizational skills, and customer service skills.
The job of an apartment maintenance technician is physically strenuous and requires the ability to stand, lift, climb, bend, push, pull, and kneel. They often need to carry out many different tasks in a single day. Maintenance workers have one of the highest rates of injuries and illnesses of all occupations. Workers risk electrical shocks, falls, cuts, and bruises. This is why maintenance workers always need to wear safety gear while working. Most general maintenance workers work full-time, including evenings or weekends. Typically, they work a varied schedule of 40 to 60 hours a week. They also need to be available for periodic 24-hour on-call rotations to provide service in case of emergencies. There are various job opportunities in the apartment maintenance industry. The opportunities vary based on the experience and responsibilities of workers. These include janitors, maintenance technicians, maintenance managers, and maintenance supervisors. The common daily tasks of janitors include keeping the building clean by mopping the floors, emptying the trash, and cleaning the bathrooms. This role requires a general education degree, GED, communication skills, and reading skills. Recall that maintenance technicians repair building systems, including HVAC, construction, electrical, and plumbing. A janitor with basic knowledge of HVAC, plumbing, electrical, and construction work can become a maintenance technician. Maintenance managers handle all aspects of apartment maintenance, including planning, scheduling, budgeting, and completing maintenance tasks. Maintenance technicians with 3 plus years of experience in general maintenance work can become maintenance managers. Maintenance managers should also have supervisory experience to assist the maintenance supervisor. Complexes with fewer than 100 units typically don't need more than a single maintenance manager. For larger complexes, more managers are required to manage the maintenance work. This is because other part-time and full-time workers handle the repair and upkeep work. Maintenance supervisors are responsible for the timeline and delegation of tasks that need to be completed for overall building maintenance. Maintenance supervisors are also responsible for the management of staff, including hiring and reviews. Supervisors organize daily tasks and ensure compliance with safety standards. They also oversee technicians while they are performing their maintenance tasks. The salary range of an apartment technician in the U.S. is $21,700 to $60,060. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for general maintenance and repair workers was $40,850 in May 2020. The median annual salaries of similar jobs that may require more education or be subject to different licensing requirements are carpenter, $46,590. Plumber, $56,330. Electrician, $55,190. HVAC Technician, $60,513. The BLS expects the employment of general maintenance and repair workers to grow at an average pace of 8% through 2026. This is because minor repairs are a frequent occurrence with home properties. Maintenance, like gutter cleaning, replacing faucets, and repairing lighting, is routine for homes. Recall that maintenance technicians are called in for small jobs. This ensures we have a steady stream of jobs to work on, even with a global economic impact. About 152,300 openings for general maintenance and repair workers are projected each year, on average. Many of those openings result from the need to replace workers who transfer to different occupations. It also results from the exit of the labor force due to retirement. The maintenance technician shortage is the result of a mismatch between supply and demand. Not enough younger maintenance technicians are entering the industry on the supply side as experienced technicians are retiring. The three main causes behind the maintenance technician shortage are Experienced maintenance technicians are retiring quickly. 
Not enough new maintenance technicians are entering the industry. Demand for maintenance technicians is increasing. National Apartment Association, NEA, is a leading organization for apartment communities, representing over 75,000 companies. It also offers an official certificate for apartment maintenance technicians. The National Apartment Association Education Institute, NAAI, offers these courses. NAAEI is the education arm of NAA. Its mission is to provide broad-based education, training, and recruitment programs that attract, nurture and retain high-quality professionals. The International Facility Management Association, IFMA, is a professional membership association for facility management professionals. It provides educational courses, industry research, and standards development opportunities to maintenance technicians. The other organizations that provide services for maintenance technicians are Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, and National Fire Protection Association, NFBA. Maintenance workers are among the many workers that are exposed to workplace hazards daily. OSHA aims to protect them by providing access to information for vulnerable workers in high-risk jobs. Information ranges from raising awareness of job hazards, to safe chemical handling, to promotion of workplace best practices. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, ensures workers safe and healthy working conditions by setting and enforcing standards. It provides training, education, and assistance to maintenance technicians through its programs. The National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, is an international organization devoted to eliminating injury due to fire, electrical, and related hazards. NFPA delivers information and knowledge through more than 300 consensus codes and standards, research, training, and education. A certified apartment maintenance technician is a worker who seeks additional certifications to work in specific industries. Most of the certifications are done online with interactive training. Maintenance certification lends credibility to a maintenance professional's qualifications. These programs generally involve exams designed to test a professional's working knowledge and skills. When earning their certification, maintenance workers prove their abilities against an objective set of criteria. Some certifications include educational courses, in which case they provide training and evidence of the individual's skill. This helps companies identify a potential candidate for the role. Certifications can give professionals an extra edge in the workforce. For instance, a maintenance technician who has plenty of workplace experience in education may be well qualified. Still, someone who has certifications on their resume will stand out a bit more. Certification is evidence that a candidate is both well-versed in their trade and committed to continuous improvement. This is because certificates test the technicians against current professional standards. There are many different kinds of certifications available for maintenance. Useful certifications for maintenance technicians are EPA certification, CAMT certification, NHMT or NAHMS credentials, and CMRT certification. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, was formed as a result of environmental concerns. The EPA is focused on protecting human health and the environment. Due to an increased demand for HVAC systems, we need to regulate the manufacturing and disposal of chemicals. Section 608 of the EPA regulations are focused on environmental safety and technician safety. A technician must be certified to maintain, repair, and dispose of HVAC equipment. The National Apartment Association, NAA, awards the Certificate for Apartment Maintenance Technicians, CAMT, to workers who complete their training program, workers who have 12 months of experience in apartment maintenance, and pass the final exam. The credentials offered by the National Affordable Housing Management Association NAHMAR, National Accredited Housing Maintenance Technician, NAHMT, and 
National Accredited Housing Maintenance Supervisor, NAHMS. These credentials are offered to technicians and supervisors. Candidates must fulfill several strict training and experience requirements before applying for either of these credentials. A Certified Maintenance and Reliability Technician, CMRT, is considered to be an entry-level certification. The CMRP focuses on different types of maintenance, including preventative, predictive, and corrective. CMRP certification shows that a technician can both monitor and fix equipment as needed. Workers in the maintenance field typically do not require any formal education. They do need to pass the General Educational Development, GED, test. General maintenance and repair workers often learn their skills on the job. They start by doing simple tasks, and watching and learning from skilled maintenance workers. Practical training, available at many education centers and community colleges, is another option for workers to learn these skills. Maintenance workers begin by doing simple tasks, like fixing leaky faucets and replacing light bulbs. After gaining experience, maintenance workers move on to more complex tasks, such as overhauling machinery or building walls. Maintenance workers can also learn these skills online using simulations. Workers are trained to perform maintenance tasks through simulations. The certifications offered to the workers need to be renewed every three years. Maintenance workers need licenses only when carrying out complex tasks. Workers may need to be licensed in a particular specialty, such as electrical or plumbing work. There is no penalty for carrying out simple apartment maintenance tasks without a license. A certified apartment maintenance technician is a worker who seeks additional certifications to work in specific industries. Certification can give professionals an extra edge in the workforce. Useful certifications for maintenance technicians are EPA certification, CAMT certification, NAHMT or NAHMS credentials, and CMRT certification. There is no penalty for carrying out simple apartment maintenance tasks without a license.